Good evening, folks. This is Blue Collar Piper. And, uh, it's getting about time for me to put out a video. So, and I was thinking about, well, you know, what should I put out a video about? And I thought about, well, you know, I kind of like stories. But, uh, we are limited as to how much time we can spend on, you know, watching videos and stuff like that. So, um, I figured I'd show you guys some of my pipes and tell you some of the stories behind them and where I got them. Okay. Now, uh, I know you guys see all this on the background and you're like, well, that's all nice, yeah, you know, but it's always back there, right? So it's time to bring some of them up to the front. But where's the housekeeping? I'm smoking. This was at one time a Chatham straight billiard. It had a uh, briar insert right here, and it it was broke. My dad tried to fix it. It didn't fix so well. So I used a piece of bamboo, some electric tape, a piece of metal tubing, and a vulcanite stem I had handy, and turned it into a very ugly little church organ. in which I'm smoking some Penzance. Hmm. Of course, I think it's about dead now. Hmm. I might get a little more out of it. I gotta try. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Let's see if I can, uh... No, I can't do it now. See. Okay. Anyways, we just got to do what we got. So, where should I start? You guys ready to take a trip? Here we go. Okay. Over there, you see a whole slew, a whole slew of cobs. There's a uh, general, straight stemmed, an old one. There's a Missouri Mershom egg with a diamond shank, which, by the way, I really need a tip for. There is a Missouri Mir Mershom um, Mizu bent, Missouri Patriot bent. Um, the next two are a couple of legends. One has a Danish bit fit on it, and one has it's the original bent amber tip on it. Then there's my country gentleman courtesy of aristocob.com and then when you get over here that bowl with the river reed sticking out of it is actually a H&B bowl that I cannibalized for the stone and I decided to salvage the bowl and I stuck a maple plug on the bottom of it put a maple little mini stumble there and then chucked the river reed into it and that's my favorite half and half pipe. Behind that's another legend bent, and then next to that is a legend straight stemmed. And in the back is a little bitty, I'm sure you can't even see it back here. It's a little bitty uh, H and B sweetheart that has a cracked mouthpiece after a place. So there's that. And then you got this bad boy right here, courtesy of Briar Fryer. This is an SMS mirror I have smoked the dog crap out of. I love this little pipe. It smokes great. And right here, here, I think I'll put you guys back over here so y'all can see my pretty face. How about that? And uh, let's see. And this bad boy, this is one of my latest acquisitions. I got this uh, in, involved in a box pass with a uh, pipe smokers form. You guys are a member of, of pipe smokers form? Check it out. I got this guy right here. It is a very much kind of cartoony, uh, almost reminds me of Day of the Dead type skull being held by a claw. Yeah. 
and I have been smoking a lot in this one. It's a good pipe. Okay, no name brand, of course, which I'm completely cool with as long as it smells good. No one will, no one will likely ever accuse me of being a snob. Now this little boy here is much, much darker than it was when I got it because I have smoked this thing. This beard is just starting to take on color. I'm quite proud of this one. I call this my evil sultan. You can see with a face like that only a mom can love. Nice big bowl. And if you look, it's actually got this piece here is actually an extension that's also done in Meerschaum. Right there, see? Well, as soon as it focuses, there it goes. That's a Meerschaum extension that screws into the head. Like so. And then, of course, this is just your regular Meerschaum acrylic yellow stem. Which goes in. Yeah, that's it. I got this in a trade for a 29-inch uh, handmade Egyptian hookah single hose that I just pretty much didn't smoke very often anymore. This, I'm sure if you guys watched any of my old videos, is my D.B. Whitcoff modified full bent general. And, uh, as you can see, it's uh, really taking on some color. If you see my old videos, old videos, you'll see that I've really uh, put some color on the cob too. And next up is my calabash. You can see this is an old one. It was passed down from my. I got it from my dad in a trade, believe it or not. And yeah. It's actually got a briar piece here. This is just a solid, smooth piece of briar. And then from here on out, it's all gourd, as you can see. Yep. Okay. And just to see it right here. That's right, boys. That's my shed rack. Peach wood. Look at there. Boy, that's dark. Smoke a lot of bowls in that. That's a good pipe right there, boys. Get a chance to get one of his primitive pipes. You should, you'll enjoy the hell out of them. Yup. Okay. Now we're going to go back here in the back. And I'm going to show off. This is my Arabic Kismet. It's a rosewood bowl with a cherry long stem. Actual bronze. For the mouthpiece, 14 inch long. The bowl is three quarter inches wide, three quarter inches deep. It's a very, very cool smoke. And then, and here's one you probably have probably never seen before. Look at that. That is an actual Bonnie Briar. Gives about a 15 minute smoke, believe it or not. And uh, it's very old. That one I actually got from my mother, believe it or not. Also in a trade. We some trading fools. Next up is my Royalton. My Royalton Bent Bulldog, rusticated Dr. Grabo. If you guys ever get a chance to get one of these, get them because Dr. Grabo has stopped making Royaltons. There are no more, so what's on the market now is all that's left. These things are going to be collectible. This one is a number 83 shape. And this is my relaxer. It's one of my favorite, but uh, I just like smoking Balkans in English in this one. This is one of my favorite Latakia pipes, and the Oriel pipes right here. It smokes so nice. Um, it's called a relaxer. It was made by someone starting with a W in a circle. I don't know what that means. 
But that's who made it. Another courtesy of Briar Fire. This is my pot. I love smoking this pipe. This is a great smoking pipe. I smoked the heck out of it. It's got some nice grain. Of course, my crappy webcam ain't showing it too much, but yeah, you get the gist. And uh, believe it or not, this is a no name, but this is one of the best smoking pipes I own. Love it. This is my most recent eBay score. This is actually a GBD Concord. Now, I didn't know it before I got this pipe, but GBDs pre-1953 were actually made in Paris, and this is one of those pipes. Um, GLPs actually lists in an article in the Pipepedia the uh, Concord line as one of the higher end um, GBDs. 18 bucks after shipping. Another one, courtesy of Briar Fryer. This is my favorite bulldog right here. GBD Shoreline, blasted, straight stem, bulldog. Love it. Beautiful pipe. Smokes awesome. Right. And let's see what else. Okay. Who's in here? Oh, yeah. This one I got from my dad. This is a LHS, which is actually L and H stems from New York. I think New York City, actually. Uh, select grain. Lavat. It's a very nice pipe. It's actually an awesome flake pipe because it's got a nice tall bowl, but it's not real broad. Um, this is the first stinger pipe I've ever had that I actually like. This one actually smokes really, really well. And uh, up until this pipe, anything with a stinger, I automatically remove the stinger too because they, they just didn't smoke good. I just couldn't stand a stinger. This one changed my mind. Uh, after that is a, another, let's see if I can get it out of the rack. Got it. A no name Bent Bulldog. That's right. There's literally no name, no inscriptions, nothing on this thing. But let me tell you what, boys. This little bulldog, it'll go hunting. Because it's a fine smoker. I enjoy this one. Next up is. Another one of the box pass trades I just got, like the last few days, is this little Vaughn. Um, I'm assuming it's a billiard. It, it almost looks canted. Um, I kind of nicknamed this one my tuxedo pipe. It's a Vaughn Bruyere Extra. It's got a gold band. I don't know if you can see the goldiness in it with my crappy webcam. It's got a very, very... Come on, you can do it. Uh, anyways, it's got a very small mouth tip, a little small round one. And uh, I figured, um, really good dress up pipe. Not that I ever dress up, but eh, who knows. Always want to be prepared for everything, right? Now, this one was from Pipe Smokers Forum. This is a square shank. On a Jobby 440 tortoise. Now I think the stem's been replaced at some point because it doesn't have the GB or the, I'm sorry, the Jobby logo on on the stem, which they have a tendency to do. But frankly, it's a good smoking pipe. And I got it on a on a what, what's called a, uh, a take one leave one thread pipe shorter form. And I picked this one up and I gave up a pipe and some tobacco and to the next guy who decided to take the offer. It's a really good smoking pipe though. And last but most definitely not least, you guys know what this is. Do I even gotta say? Now, you're gonna notice that it's not nearly as shiny. Well, it's pretty shiny. I've put a 
wax layer on it a few times trying to pretty it up a little bit. This I got from my father-in-law. He's dead now. The dog he had chewed this pipe like it was a bone. It has bite marks all through it, all along the bowl. The stem, I've sanded the stem repeatedly trying to get rid of the bite marks. It just ain't happening. So you know what? I'm just going to smoke it because it's a good little smoker. It does pretty darn good. So, uh, also, free pipe. All said and done, I've probably, sp oh, I almost forgot. This was the other one that I got from my father-in-law that uh, the dog chewed. And this one, in this case, he chewed the stem completely off of it. This is a Dr. Grabo Royal Duke Bulldog. Rusticated. And, of course, I've got, yeah, I smoked it. I ended up having to take the stem off of one of my other cobs. So now it's waiting for new stems. <laughs> Which, I've got to order some stems in the worst way. Anywho, um... I'm sure I've taken, whoa, way a lot of your time, 16 minutes. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I hope you all have a great day.